Kevin James, great to see you again, my friend. How you doing? Good to see you. How you doing, Dave? Everything good? Great, bud. Great. Awesome. And Taylor, this is our first time to talk. I can't believe it. I am so excited. Great to meet you. Team Jacob for life. Nice yes. to meet you, Dave. <laughs> Thanks for having us. All right, my man. Uh, here's the deal. As you all know, football is king here in Texas. Story mm. actually takes place in Texas. I knew Sean Payton was doing something like this. I had no idea to what level, you know, the, the middle school team and all that. So, so Kevin, what did you know about this story before taking this film on? I didn't know any of it. I didn't know, you know, any of it took place. I really didn't. I only knew, found out when uh, Adam Sandler called me and said, there's an amazing sports story that really happened that, you know, we may be able to do. And would you be interested in doing it? And when he explained it to me, I was like, I'm in, I'm in hundred percent because it's, you know, you take a Super Bowl winning coach and that's not his greatest victory. Uh, just reuniting with his son was, I was like, that's, that's the story right there. It's, and it's, and it's incredible and it happened. So I was like, done. Yeah. It was, it was a no brainer. Yeah. You know, we'd heard the story, you know, here in, in Houston, we knew North Texas, yeah. it was going on, but I had no idea. Um, right. do, you, do you know if Sean, is, is he aware of the film? Did you get to talk with Sean at all? Oh, yes. I mean, oh. Taylor's Taylor's amazing friends with him. He's really great friends with him. Uh, and we, we went through the whole process of of, of making sure he was, uh, under, you know, he, he had to approve the, 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 the movie, I'm sure. We wanted it to be true to form. So we talked to him about everything, got all the information from him. And yeah, it was an amazing, amazing experience. He's a great guy. Awesome. All right. So Taylor, expand on that one because, you know, Coach Troy Lambert, your char character as well, he's real. Uh, what did you, did you get to talk with Troy about this role and, and, and everything that it meant to him and, and get, you know, some guidance? Um, I didn't get to talk with the actual Pee Wee coach. Um, but the way that this movie kind of, uh, happened is, um, Sean's daughter, Megan, uh, Peyton, she, she made this incredible short, uh, called yeah. Cutting Oranges, um, for NFL Network, where she sat down and interviewed, everybody involved in the story in depth um and one of those people was the peewee coach i think we cha we changed his name for the movie um but uh I, I watched all of the footage of her interview with him which was such a cool piece um so yeah that that definitely helped me a, a bit i'm gonna have to find that how does this story inspire you kevin well it inspires me as a father as a, as a sports fan uh, in, in every way, you know, I mean, from the movies I watched when I was younger, like Bad News Bears and, you know, great fun sport movies. And uh, I've just always been a fan of that. And when you can combine that with a greater story of a father and son, you know, I'm in 100%. And that, you know, that was the one that took over for me. It was like really finding that out and, 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 and digging into that and getting to be part of that uh, whole experience was just, it was great for me. It really was. And, you know, it was so, it was so nice to, to be able to do it with an amazing cast, you know, Taylor and all, and all the rest of the guys too. And, and the kids too were amazing. You know, they, these guys really worked hard. We had to get, you know, another difficult part of it is you have to get athletes, you know, not only actors, but athletes that can actually do this stuff. Otherwise it's not gonna. So it, it was like, so many things added on and during COVID and all the stuff and filming down in New Orleans when it was, you know, extremely hot. Um, <laughs> we had to come together as a family and, and right. everybody did, man. They were just, it was just a great, great set. It really was. All right. Before we get out of here, everybody <clears throat> watching us right now wanted me to ask, let's do some Super Bowl predictions since we're talking football. Taylor, I'm going to start with you. Who's going all the way? Who's going all the way? Um, I'm, I'm going to go with my boy Stafford. I'm, I'm a big Matthew Stafford fan. He, you know, he played for my Detroit Lions. I'm from Michigan. I've been rooting for him to, to play in a big game like this for a while. Um, so I'm happy that he's finally there. So I'm going to go Stafford. There you go with the Rams. Uh, all right, Kevin, real quick, before they throw me out of here, who's going to win? Uh, the Jets. I'm going with the Jets anyway, <laughs> even though they're out and they've been eliminated. I, that's the fan I am. And I still think there's a chance that they could change the rules and they get a, a bye week and can come back and do something. So it will be the Jets. <laughs> As yeah. a Texans fan, I'm hoping everybody, including the Jets, forfeits. Then we finally get to go. The only They say there the only go. way we're going to the Super Bowl is if we buy tickets. And that's the way it's looking. Hey, yes, guys. Thank, thank you all so much. Seriously, Thanks, great Dave. to see you both. Great Thanks, job. Dave. I